Good morning, everybody. Unfortunately, today we have some bad news. Final Fantasy VII voice actor died six days after the official release. That's right. As soon as the game was released, he passed away. I mean, I don't know what to say. There's millions of people playing this game. It's the biggest release of the year. It may be the biggest release all year, as far as I know. Final Fantasy VII sold more copies than any other game in history when it came out in the 90s. At that point in time, this is devastating news. Very shocking. He didn't just work on Final Fantasy VII. He also worked on uh, Full, Full Metal Alchemist. He worked on several other animes and video games. Uh, his family held a private event, which is uh, understandable, and um, I definitely respect that. But you can look through the pictures here, and you can see that he was, uh, in case you didn't know, he was Reno from in Final Fantasy VII. It's a nice picture of him right here with a little suit on. So yeah, his memory will live on in the game. It's a legacy. Nobody can change that. He was 55 years old, and they're reporting it as cancer. Um, this is bre this is breaking news. It just happened uh, apparently uh, around a day ago. Um, it's not even hit the 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 Twitter feeds much or the YouTube much. Um, if you are a voice actor, this shows you. Um, really just you know voice actors don't get enough recognition they really don't and this shows you that they do get rec recognition so if you knew KG play the game and if you don't know him play the game anyways because it's, it's a very good game KG Fujiwara so KG will be remembered in this game and nobody can take that away is a very good game and I have to thank him for helping make this game because I waited 15 years for this game so thank you KG and thank you for watching